Well, a very good morning. I'm coming to you with uh, the unfortunate news from Bobby Wine's camp. According to reports making rounds on social media, Bobby Wine has been arrested in Dubai. But I'm coming to tell you the truth of the matter. Yes, I'm coming to judge you exactly what is going on. And also, I have other big stories making headlines in the country, and you don't really want to miss on that as well. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, as usual. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Well, according to Nubian Lee, the president of NUP, His Excellency Bobby Wine, has been held at the Dubai airport since yesterday at around 8.30 p.m. and he's under interrogation and all his travel documents and his phone have been confiscated. Nubian Lee also reports that one of the organizers of the show, Bobby Wine, had gone to attend, has been detained by UAE security and uh, he's been put under interrogation for four hours. Nubian Lee finalizes by saying that the show was meant to raise funds to help repatriate fellow Ugandans stranded in the UAE, and he promises that more details will be coming up. Well, that's the unfortunate update coming in from His Excellency Bobby Wan's camp, and I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Now, a Ugandan gentleman has died in Qatar. Humphrey Musinguzi, according to reports, died instantly after falling off from a tall building. Humphrey was born from Nyarushanje sub-county in Rukunjiri district. However, it's not yet clear whether he was pushed from the building or it was an accident or suicide. Our preparations to repatriate his body from Qatar are going on, but it's very sad. Yes, I should say it's very sad. Well, it should be remembered that this very year, in May, another 24-year-old Ugandan woman, identified as Monique Karunji, jumped off a tall building in Dubai and, uh, you know, died instantly. Actually, it's the same story right here. Other people said Monique was pushed from the building. Others said she was depressed and, uh, you know, decided to end her life. So basically, as long as, you know, Tezite Gerekeka, why are people falling off buildings? Why? Anyway, that's the latest update coming in from Carter, and uh, may their souls rest in peace. Well, abductions are still going on in Uganda, however much different people on different levels are talking about it. Another Bobby Wine supporter, Yusuf Chigundu, has been abducted. And according to the president of NUP, His Excellency Bobby Wine, Chigundu was picked up yesterday from Luero by four armed men moving in a drone. And this happened in broad daylight. It was around 9 a.m. in the morning. Bobby Wine says he was badly beaten up and bundled into their vehicle before being driven off. Well, it should be remembered that it's now seven days since relatives of journalist Remy Bahati were abducted by armed men from their home in Fort Porto. And up to now, they haven't been arraigned in court. Well, that's Uganda for you. Meanwhile, yesterday, the Shadow Minister for Internal Affairs, Abdallah Chiwanuka, revealed that he has already presented to the Speaker of Parliament, the Prime Minister, and other security organizations a list of 56 people who were abducted and some of them up to now. Their whereabouts are still unknown. Uh, Deputy Speaker and Wako Speaker and Wako Prime Minister, near Minister of Security, uh, Wona, Tokani Zanti, no Kalala Oriku, Avantu Abas, the way my government Zemia gave him Macomeda. Then I wrote to Rotedako, Bagadeva to Nuremo, Pacotene Tongo, the Vienja Uro, who uses the Okuma, and you know, Nova Sobola, Naho, Baba Fanan. To our government, a very well accountability. 
abantu bano bawambibwa na yono yafa ona inebu vune te musobola mulaba ona ali mukomera lye gundi kibaito kola accountability twaita ga government ya kola accountability kwanga tu ino bujuriz nti abantu wano be baba wamba so speaking about the entertainment industry Morris Kiria is trending so big time it's reported that Morris Kiria said in a recent interview that I don't know any of Lydia Jasmine's music I just know her as a person because she's beautiful and her pictures keep coming all over my timeline so this statement is trending so big time on social media some people are insulting Morris Kiria and others are congaring with him but I think we all need to go back to the interview and understand what he meant exactly because, you know, social media will caught you and uh, people will start insulting you without first understanding where that statement came from. But that's it from Maurice Curious Camp. I don't know what you think. You can put your thought in the comment section. So that's it on the Buzz UG for now, but I'm following up on that Bobby Wine story and uh, I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. What you have to do, subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. As usual, it's your favorite, Melads Milo, aka Fuller. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.